Tillman's death has shocked Starkville and Mississippi State. Today, people are just trying to make sense of what happened. That's right. WCBI's Jory Talley talks with neighbors and classmates today. She joins us now live from Starkville City Hall, where those four people charged in the case are about to make a court appearance. Jory. Andre and Joey, those four young men are making that appearance in this building in the municipal courtroom. When I spoke with MSU students and people who knew Joseph Tillman today, profound sadness, complete disbelief, and substudents were even scared. Mary Kate Rankin was out of town when she got this text. It was about two, and I got two calls back to back, and I was kind of in uh, sleep. I didn't answer. And when I woke up about five that morning, I had a text from my friend um, saying somebody's been shot in your yard. The person shot was 21 year old Joseph Tillman, who was steps away from his home. It's unbelievable. It's kind of crazy that it was one person that just got the end of this and that, you know, I don't know why people would do that in such an area like this. I don't know what the motive was. Um, I don't know. It's really upsetting and, and really also scary that that happened in such a public place like this. A makeshift memorial site has been set up in the yard where dozens of friends have stopped by to mourn the loss of Tillman. Although none of his friends wanted to go on camera, they say this video from four years ago describes him best. Hi, my name is Joseph, and I, I've been very blessed in my life, and I've been able to take plenty of trips, uh, more than enough for a lifetime. MSU senior Natalie Harris lives two streets over from where the shooting happened, and she says it's terrifying to think about. It's very disrespectful of human life, no matter who it is. And, you know, it's scary to think that, you know, you never think that anything like that's going to happen, but it did, and now we know, you know, and I feel like it kind of opens everyone's eyes that, you know, you have to be careful and you have to look out for yourself. and. You know, it doesn't matter who you are or what you're involved in or how good of a person you are. Something like that can happen and can be taken away from you in a split second. Harris says Tillman was well known on campus. I knew way more people that did know him personally and were very affected by it. And it's very heartbreaking to see, like, my friends hurting because, you know, it's evident how good of a person and how good of a friend he was. And you know, kind of the legacy that he left on those people. The tragedy not only affects students, it also brings worries for parents. It's scary for your parents not to be able to do anything because they are far away and, you know, we're here and we have to take care of ourselves. And it's scary for them to know that, you know, they, to realize things like this do happen because it happened to one of ours. And, you know, I'm sure their parents are, I can't imagine how they feel about this and just knowing, you know, that there was nothing they could have done. Counseling services are available at the university for students, faculty, and staff during this tragic time. Live in Startful, Jory Talley, WCBI News. Back to the studio. All right, Jory Talley, live in Startful with that report tonight.